39 Interesting Facts About Hippopotamus In Sub-Saharan Africa, in places of abundant water, mud, and grassland lives this mammal. They enjoy the water, and can spend approximately 16 hours a day in it, keeping their sensitive skin cool. They come out of the water, and munch on grasses, at sundown. We are referring to the hippopotamus. In this video, we shall discuss 39 interesting facts, about the hippopotamus. Fact number 1. Types of hippos. While experts think, there were once 5 types of hippos, today there are only 2 existing types of hippo. The common hippo and the pygmy hippo, with the latter being the focus of this video. Number 1. Common Hippos The common hippo, resides in water environments such as lakes, rivers, and mangrove swamps, and meadow. A hippo, requires a lot of water, to accommodate its large size and to survive, however, it generally does not like water that is too shallow or too deep. As long as the water, is deep enough to submerge its head, life is good for the common hippo. Number 2. Pygmy Hippopotamus The uncommon pygmy hippopotamus, Hexaprotodon liberiensis, also known as Choropsis liberiensis, is about the size of a domestic pig. The pygmy hippo, is less aquatic, than its bigger relative, although, when threatened, it hides in water. The International Union for Preservation of Nature, has categorized the pygmy hippopotamus, as endangered since 2006. Fact number 2. Hippos, are one of the largest animals on earth. Simply behind elephants and white rhinos, hippos are amongst the world's biggest land mammals. Some adult males, called bulls, can weigh approximately almost 3 tons, however, the average weight is between 3,300 and 7,050 pounds, which are, 1,500 and 3,200 kilograms. It appears that the males, continue to grow throughout their lives, which accounts for their enormous size. Female grown-ups, on the other hand, normally weigh a couple of hundred pounds less than the males, and they stop growing around the age of 25, even though they share the same life expectancy as males. Hippo calves, weigh between 55 and 100 pounds, 23 and 45.35 kilograms, at birth. They are born underwater, however, they paddle to the surface area, to take their very first breath. Infant hippos, are nursed underwater. They close their ears and nostrils, so that they cannot be drawn by water. They are nursed on land as well. Fact number 3. They can't swim. Can you believe the fact, that a hippopotamus cannot swim? You would think, that an animal that stays most of its time in the water might swim, however, hippos cannot swim. Not only that, adult hippo cannot swim, they are not even buoyant in water. Hippos, sink to the bottom of the water, and after that move by walking, trotting, or running. They kick their hind legs, to press off from the bottom, and move themselves up, when they are prepared to return to the surface area. They can move underwater, at a speed of 15 miles per hour, 8 kilometers per hour. You will not be able to outswim them. Fact number 4. Hippos, made in the water. Female hippos, reach breeding age at 7 and 15 years of age, whereas males, mature sexually at an earlier age. Hippos, made every two years and many of the breeding routines, take place in the water. Both males and females, use vocalization, body language, and even their urine to show their interest or no interest. A male has to travel, compete, and engage in a fight with other males, to get the mate he desires. Normally, only dominant, strong hippos, are allowed to mate with females. 
Fact number 5. Hippos, give birth either on land, or underwater. Eight months after conception, at the peak of the wet season, female hippos bring to life one calf at a time, either on land or underwater. Later on, moms leave the herd for a brief time, to bond with their calves underwater. After a couple of weeks the calves lastly leave the water, to feed upon grasses. A mature female hippo, gives birth to the young, every two years. A hippo calf, will be nursed by its mom, till it gets to 18 months old. After it is weaned, it will remain close by its mom, for approximately 7 or 8 years, till it is fully grown up. Here are some other facts, about newborn hippopotamus. They remain in the water, with their mom, for the very first days up until they get stronger. They can hold their breath for about 40 seconds at a time. They are nursed, by their moms underwater, and on land. When the water, is too deep for them, they rest on their mom's backs. Fact number 6. Calves, can nurse underwater. Hippos, are vegetarians, however, throughout the very first year of life, hippo calves feed on their mom's milk. Once they're born, they remain close to their moms, depending on them for food, till they can survive living by themselves in the wild. They are even known, to ride on their mom's back sometimes. Surprisingly, the hippo's body, has adjusted to allow the calves, to nurse both on land and underwater. Their nostrils, and eyes close to prevent the calf, from taking in water. They can remain in this position, for some minutes. Despite web reports, that hippo milk is pink, like many other mammals, their milk is whitish yellow. Fact number 7. They can hold their breath, as much as 5 minutes in the water. What hippos, do not have in swimming abilities, they more than make up, with their ability to hold their breath, for long periods. Adult hippos, can remain underwater for approximately 5 minutes at a time. They resurface, every 3 to 5 minutes to breathe. Infant hippos, breathe every 2 to 3 minutes. Breathing and emerging are automated for hippos. They can even do it in their sleep, without even requiring getting up. Their eyes and their nostrils, are covered by a thick membrane close, creating a protective watertight seal. When they notice a threat, or feel threatened, by something in their environment, hippos will dive deep into the water. They might, also relocate to another area, or simply remain still till they feel it's safe to come back up to the surface. Oddly enough, hippos, are even able to sleep underwater, using this very same reflexive instinct. Fact number 8. Hippos, do not eat fish. Even though, hippos reside in the water with fish, they do not consume fish. Hippos, are herbivores, consuming grass, and periodically some fruits, and vegetables. Hippos, like consuming watermelons. In zoos, hippos have been in some cases offered entire watermelons, and they devour them, squashing them with their powerful teeth. Fact number 9. Hippos, are African most dangerous animals. Apart from mosquitoes, and the tsetse fly, hippopotamuses, are the most deadly animal in Africa. They are considered the most dangerous mammal worldwide, killing approximately 500 people each year in Africa. They are extremely territorial, and can attack anything that roams into their area, whether that be human or animal. These animals, are massive and can crush someone in a heartbeat or drown the person by overturning its boat. They have big mouths, with incredibly sharp teeth and tusks and have been found, to kill big animals such as kudu, impala, and buffalo. Regardless of their size, and short legs, they are agile and can run very fast. Fact number 10. 
Hippos are an extremely aggressive animals. Hippos are extremely aggressive and unpredictable, and especially when their calves are present, which is why they are regarded as so dangerous. Because they appear sluggish, many people may see hippos as harmless giants, but that is far from the truth. They can charge without a minute's hesitation and cause severe damage. If you see a hippo yawning, you might think it's adorable, but in fact, a hippo yawn is a caution signal. If you ever hear a hippo making a deep laughing sound, it is not an amusing situation because this implies that the hippo is sounding off a caution. Hippos also display some pretty gross way of marking their territory, such as urinating backward or spinning their tails while excreting dung to spread it over a large area. Fact number eleven: Hippo can grow to a height of 1.52 meters. Mature hippo can grow to a height of over 5 feet (1.52 meters) at the shoulder and between 10 and 16 feet (3 and 5 meters) long. This implies that a hippo might use up a large portion of your living room. To put their size in an even much better point of view, an adult hippo is about the size of your average car. Fact number 12. Hippos are polygamous. Hippos are not known to mate for life and a male might have up to 10 mates in one lifetime. Because it's the dominant male hippo or bull that rules the rest of the group, it's typically rather difficult for youthful males to secure a female to breed with. In one season, a male will normally mate with more than one female to ensure it produces offspring. After the calves are born, they will remain in his territory, where he can safeguard and shelter them from other contending predators and males. Fact number thirteen: Recreation and life process of hippo. At the ages of seven and fifteen, females, cows, become sexually mature, and males mature somewhat earlier, between the ages of six and thirteen. In captivity. Nevertheless, members of both sexes might end up being sexually fully grown as early as ages three and four. Dominant bulls of more than twenty years old, nevertheless, start the majority of the mating. Bulls monopolize territories in the river as breeding areas for twelve years or more. Subordinate males are tolerated as far as they do not try to mate with the females. Cows aggregate in these areas throughout the dry season, which is when most mating happens. Fact number fourteen: Female hippos are pregnant for eight months. Just like in humans, female hippos have a long gestational period. Their pregnancy lasts for about two hundred thirty-seven days, which is roughly eight months. In comparison. The mammal with the longest gestation period is the elephant, which is over 600 days. The second is the whale, which has a gestation period of 500 days. Hippos will just have one baby at a time. The hippo calf will stay by its mom's side for almost a year, nursing milk as it gets and grows in strength. After that time, it will stop nursing and start to eat plants. Fact number fifteen: Hippos are very vocal animals. Hippos are extremely loud and use a series of sounds to interacting with one another in their groups. These sounds are rather unique and have been referred to as honks, roars, whines, and squeaks. Sometimes it looks like the noise of human laughter. On land, their calls. Can be heard roughly a mile away. Hippos have also been known to vocalize underwater. Very little is understood about what each sound implies or why they do it. However, like other animals, it's their method of communicating their messages. They might be notifying other hippos of threat, indicating a time to move or remain still, or calling after their young. 
Fact number 16. Hippos, are social animals. Hippos, are social and normally hang out together in groups of 10 to 30 individuals, however, some groups, consist of up to 200 members. No matter how small or big a group is, all hippo herds, are led by a single, dominant bull. A number of these herds, consist of females, however, bachelor hippos, are permitted inside the community, as long as they respect the bull hippo and not flirt with any of the females. A group of hippos, is called different names by different people. The group names, may be regarded as herds, schools, pods, dales, and bloats. You might say that hippos, enjoy socializing with their bloats, however, it is worthy of note that their groups are called schools, because the grown-ups hippos, do teach their young a lot of important things, such as how to protect themselves. A male hippopotamus, is referred to as a bull. A female hippopotamus, is called a cow, while an infant hippo, is called a calf. Fact number 17. A group of hippos, is called a bloat. Pygmy hippos, spend the majority of their lives in solitary regimens, however, common hippos, are always seen in big groups or bloats. Sometimes, these groups, can consist of as many as 70 hippos in total. This ensures security and safety, and enables males to have control over their area and households. Fact number 18. Why hippo fight each other? To protect themselves from more aggressive, dominant, and bully mates, hippo engage in fights. They use the fight, to settle their scores. Anyone that wins the fight, is revered by others. This, however, does not last long, as they may engage in another fight, any time in the future, when the defeated one considers itself stronger to win the battle of dominance. Hippo, also fights to protect their young ones. Hippo mothers, are very caring and protective of the young ones. It will do everything possible, to protect their young ones, from their enemies or harm. This includes fighting their enemies, from different animal species and enemies within. Hippo, fights when their territory, is threatened or attacked by another. Threats or attacks by another hippo, can cause the bull hippo to charge, and engage in a fight, to determine who is who. The majority of hostility, takes the form of sound, splash, bluff charges, and a yawning display of the teeth. However, opponents may engage, in the fight by slashing upward at each other's flanks, with the lower incisors. Injuries, can be deadly despite their thick skin. Nearby territorial bulls, will gaze at each other, then turn, and with rear end out of the water, flip feces and urine in a large arc, by rapidly wagging the tail. This routine display suggests, that the area is inhabited. Territorial and subordinate males alike, make dung piles along pathways leading inland, which most likely work as olfactory signposts, scent markers, during the night. Hippos, recognize other hippos, by their fragrance and in some cases follow one another nose to tail on night treks. Fact number 19. Male hippos, fling their dung to mark their territory. Because of their need to defend and protect their territory, hippos, are considered dangerous and unpredictable animals. Female hippos, will fiercely protect their young, but it's the males who are most threatening and vicious. They will pursue any hippo, animal, or human that attempts to enter their area. Interestingly, hippos, are more territorial in the water. On land, they may use their tails, to fling their feces around the area, to demarcate their territory to others. Wide open mouths, loud sounds, or charging might, likewise signify that they are protecting their land. Fact number 20. Hippo population. Recorded history, has it that hippos, 
wandered as far as Asia and Europe. Today, their general population is restricted to Africa, with their numbers approximated to between 125,000 and 148,000 in 2008. The Democratic Republic of the Congo one time boasted the largest population of hippos, till the nation's Second Congo War, which eliminated tens of thousands during the mid-1970s. Presently, the African nations of Zambia and Tanzania are housed to the biggest hippo populations. Fact number 21. Pygmy populations are decreasing. According to the Yukon Red List, the pygmy hippo is threatened. Since the last assessment in 2015, their populations in Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Côte d'Ivoire remained in decline, likely due to human invasions and destruction of their habitats. It is believed that less than 3,000 pygmies are left. This hippotype tends to live in swampy forests, so, the destruction of their environment or poaching activities could be contributing to the decline in their numbers. Common hippo populations are stable, yet they are included in a vulnerable category on the Yukon list. Fact number 22. Common hippo population is also decreasing. The red list assessment puts present common hippo populations at about 115,000 to 130,000. This is far below the figure of 125,000 to 148,000 in 2008. This downward spike was inadequate to alter the animal's risk classification due to possible discounts in some nations in 2008. Nevertheless, the assessment still states that hippo's conservation status is precarious and direct conservation action to safeguard hippos and their environment continues to be a priority. Although hippo populations have remained the same in some countries, there have been reports of declines in many locations because of habitat loss and uncontrolled hunting. Fact number 23. Why are hippos going extinct? Some top reasons behind the decline in hippo numbers include habitat loss, unregulated poaching, and hunting. Hippos are commonly killed because they are considered to be a threat to the people and compete for freshwater. They are also hunted and killed because of their meat, ivory tusks, and teeth. Their teeth and tusks are very expensive on the black market. Fact number 24. Hippo is suffering habitat loss. Big-scale advancements around wetland locations and water diversion for farming functions have triggered severe environmental loss for hippos. While common hippos have their biggest populations in East Africa, they are discovered in a minimum of 29 various nations, half of which have recorded substantial population decreases. The amphibious common hippo needs access to a permanent body of water to survive, so it faces a big challenge when dry spells and advancements eliminate rivers and lakes in favor of dams, farms, and city locations. The greatest hazard to the pygmy hippo is logging. The little forest staying within the pygmy hippo's historic area has been fragmented, leaving them separated from possible mates and vulnerable to hunters. Both the pygmy hippo and the common hippo are used by human beings as a source of food and for making precious jewelry or other handicrafts. Pygmy hippos are not targeted, as much because their teeth are of less worth, they are typically taken by hunters opportunistically for their meat. Fact number 25. Hippo conservation efforts. Land and water protection, in areas of the world, where hippos live, are so much needed. Protecting both types of hippo, begins with producing secured areas and enhancing already established hippo environments. Things like making funding available to hippo conservation efforts and research studies, enhancing nationwide park facilities, and supporting global and nationwide laws that safeguard hippos are all important. People can support hippos 
by signing petitions that safeguard important habitats in African parks and wildlife sanctuaries, or by embracing a hippo, symbolically, with the World Wildlife Fund. Fact number 26. Hippos, have teeth. They have 36 teeth, that consist of one canine, two incisors, three premolars, and three molars on each side of their jaws. Some hippos, might have up to 40 teeth, since they can maintain their milk teeth, for several years after maturing. Here are a couple of other hippopotamus facts, about their teeth that you might discover fascinating. Hippo canine teeth, continue to grow and can even grow to 50 centimeters, 1 foot 8 in, in length. If its molars wear down too much, to break down food, a hippo will starve to death. Hippopotamus teeth, sharpen themselves, by continuous grinding, against the much shorter upper canines. Fact number 27. Hippopotamus tusks. Hippo canine teeth, are tusk-like. They utilize these bigger teeth, for fighting. Tusk clashing, consists of males locking teeth and fumbling. A tusk clash, is comparable to a pair of beer locking antlers. Hippo tusks, are two times as long in males. Fact number 28. Hippos, are very vocal animals. Hippos, are loud and utilize a series of sounds, to interacting with one another in their groups. These noises, are rather unique and have been referred to as honks, roar, whines, and squeaks. Sometimes, it likewise looks like the noise of human laughter. On land, it's stated their calls, can be heard as far as a mile away, however, hippos, have likewise been understood to vocalize underwater. Very little, is known about what each call implies or why they do it, however like other animals, it's their method of passing out information, to other hippos. They might be signaling other hippos, to risk, signifying a time to move or remain still, or calling after their young. Fact number 29. Hippos, do not have blood sweat. Among the most fascinating hippo realities, is the fact that this animal, produces a red, oily compound that many people have referred to as blood sweat. This secretion, is neither blood nor sweat. It is a natural sunscreen, that safeguards the hippo's naked skin, from the harsh African sun. Blood sweat, comprises two secretions. One red, hippozoodoric acid, and one orange, nor hippozoodoric acid. This serves two purposes. These extremely acidic substances prevent hippo, from contacting germs, thereby reducing its exposure to illness. It also helps to prevent sunburn and sun damage. Fact number 30. Do hippos have hair? Hippos, are nearly entirely hairless except for a couple of hairs, around their mouths, and a tuft of hair on their tails. To make up for their absence of hair, their skins, are extremely thick. Fact number 31. You cannot outrun a hippo. Hippos, might look slow and lazy, however, do not be tricked. They simply want you to believe that. They can outrun a human, on land. They have been timed running between 19 and 25 miles per hour, 30 and 40 kilometers per hour. They can just keep up these high speeds, for a couple of hundred meters. Fact number 32. Do hippos, make noise? Hippos, make a great deal of noise. They are among the loudest animal in Africa. According to the San Diego Zoo, their vocalizations, have been measured at 115 decibels. Do you know what it is like to stand about 15 feet, far from a speaker at a rock show? That's how loud hippos are. 
They groan, grumble, shout, roar, honk, humph, and wheeze loudly. They also make a deep, frightening laughing noise, which is in reality a warning signal. Fact number 33. Where do hippos sleep? Hippos are awake all night. During this time, they go out foraging everywhere for grass. All of their sleep, therefore, happens during the day. Although hippos are frequently seen sleeping and basking on the banks of rivers, the majority of their sleep is taken inside the water, whether the water is deep or shallow. Fact number 34. What animal can kill a hippo? The primary predators of hippos are big cats, crocodiles, and wild dogs. They often go after the offspring, especially if they have strayed, from the defense of the group. They also try to look for wounded and old hippos, that are vulnerable to an attack and cannot defend themselves. Adult hippos, are not preyed upon by other animals, due to their aggressiveness and size. Cases, where a large lion pride, has successfully preyed on adult hippos, have been reported, however, this predation is typically uncommon. Fact number 35. Why do hippos, have big mouths? Hippos, have big mouths so that they can consume the massive quantity of food, they require for their huge bodies. Another reason, is that hippo cows, enjoy bull big mouths. The way and manner they relate, to the bull show that the bigger the bull mouth, the much better hubby and dad are considered. Naturally, hippos, also use their big mouths as a defense against anything that attacks their area, or threatens their calves. Fact number 36. How large can a hippo open its mouth? The majority of adult hippos, can open their mouths at a 150 degree angle. For some bull hippos, it's 180 degrees. Fact number 37. What is the life expectancy of a hippo? The life expectancy for a hippo, is between 35 and 50 years. Fact number 38. How strong is a hippo bite? Another astonishing fact about a hippo, is that it can chomp down with a ruthless force of about 2,000 pounds per inch too. To understand how powerful a hippo bite is, compare it to the human bite force of 200 pounds per inch too. Fact number 39. Why do male hippos, attack infant hippos? Bull hippos, do attack and kill hippo calves, although it is not common. Experts, are generally undecided on the cause or causes of this, however, some believe that this incidence can happen when herds are overpopulated relative to their decreasing habitat, or when their food is scarce. Hope you guys like this video? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumb up, and subscribe to our channel, for more videos like this. See you in the next video.